Hello, I'm Seth Persigal, and this is Kerbal Space Program, more specifically a SpaceX-style launch and return of a first stage booster using the KOS mod. Here we've initiated our launch into the atmosphere using Ferrum Aerospace, which provides much more of a challenge and much higher velocities than the initial stock model I was using in the previous video. We start our flight flying almost completely vertically, and then as we hit 60 meters per second we begin a pitch over maneuver so we can start our gravity turn. Here all nine engines are burning at full throttle to give us that critical speed we need to get our payload into orbit. Knowing full well that every meter per second we add in the first stage, we're going to have to burn back later to get our rocket back home safely. As we fly, the PID controllers are working their little hearts out to keep the rocket on course and on track. Just like the real rocket, there's no SAS on board. All we have is RCS and the engine gimbals to keep our rocket flying straight and true. Once we've gotten up to 850 meters per second and our fuel starts running low, we jettison the second stage so it can continue its mission onto orbit and then perform a 180 degree turn to begin our boost back maneuver. As soon as the rocket is pointing in generally the right direction, the three sensor engines ignite and begin the boost back maneuver. Here we're canceling out almost 800 meters per second of velocity in order to start heading back towards the landing pad. This takes quite a bit of time, and as we are performing the maneuver, it's constantly calculating how long until it hits the ground, both falling down, and how long until it hits the launch pad going horizontally. The calculations are precise enough that we actually have to take into account the fact that we are 50 meters above the 50 kilometers above the surface, and gravity is slightly different at 8.5 meters per second per second instead of the traditional 9.8. Once we've got it close enough back to our target, we begin a slowdown and correction burn, which takes place at about 25 kilometers up. This is to slow our velocity down so that once we hit the denser part of the atmosphere, Ferrum Aerospace doesn't tear our rocket apart. It also provides a nice way of adjusting our final approach so that we're less than a kilometer off. As you can see here, we're only 30 meters off target. After many failed attempts, my rocket has been tuned to handle this sort of thing. Landing gear have now deployed, and we are plummeting towards the drone ship at more than 100 meters per second. The dense atmosphere of Earth can handle a lot of our velocity, but the last few meters per second are up to us, and it looks like we're going to be a smooth touchdown! Phew! Well, with that out of the way, my next challenge is going to be landing a life-size Falcon 9 using the Realism Overhaul mod for Kerbal Space Program. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, please subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. I'm Seth Persigal, signing off.